I'm here waiting And I wrote this letter in my head Cause so many things were left unsaid But now you're gone and I can't think straight This could be the one last chance to make you understand Yeah, I'd do anything Just to hold you in my arms To try to make you laugh But somehow I can't put you in the past Together we broke all the rules Dreaming of dropping out of school To leave this place to never come back So now, maybe after all these years If you miss me, have no fear I'll be here, I'll be waiting This could be one last chance to make you understand And I just can't let you leave me once again Somehow I can't put you in the past i do anything Just to fall asleep with you Will you remember me? Cause I know I won't forget you I close my eyes And all I see is you I close my eyes Try to sleep I can't forget you Na 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 Get you. Hey, that was I'd Do Anything by Simple Plan, and I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. Uh, in just a moment, I'll do a basic tutorial covering everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want over a thousand, yes, it's over a thousand now, uh, free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along, just like this one, then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right, now, uh, if you're a beginner or you just don't want to work that hard, you can ignore that little tiny bit of finger style that I did and you can just play C, D, G. C, D, G. C, D, G. Each time we're doing that, you can just do that and that'll work just fine. But it's not that hard and it's really short. And if you learn it, you get to play it five times in the song. Really, five times. Three at the start, once in the middle, once at the end. Here's how we go. So what am I doing? I start out with a C, right, with my ring finger on the C, and then I'm just gonna pluck the second string from the floor here. And that's called a hammer-on, where you pluck the string once and you get two tones out of it by hammering your finger down hard. Doesn't have to be that hard, but you can hear the two sounds, right? So, and then I switch right over to a D, and then I'm gonna use two different fingers to pluck the second from the floor and the one closest to the floor. Sorry, and then I go right to a G. So C, with that hammer on. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> Practice it 50 times, it'll only take you 90 seconds. 
and you'll be smooth with it, smoother than I was just then. All right. Uh, now, as far as the strum, I have a hard time describing it. If you can listen to the original song or listen to this video, and you catch the timing um, of the the emphasis in the words and everything, then I, I didn't even try to write up how the strum works because I'm not sure. I just kind of strummed along emphasizing uh, where it felt like the words emphasized. So I apologize for not giving you advice on that, other than, you know, you can play along in slow motion, maybe copy what I do, because it, it felt like I was doing it sort of with the emphasis the band did. Except they weren't, of course, playing a ukulele or even an acoustic guitar. They were a rock band, but one of the things I love about them, I love rock music. Okay, chord transitions now. So we start in the intro from a C. I'm sort of sliding my finger diagonally to drop that D, and then, the same ring finger just slides up for the G. And I roll it back. Diagonal, slide it up, roll it back. That's it. And now on the verse. Another. This is a very abrupt strum, isn't it? I'm trying to get a lot of a. Uh, down, up, down, up. That's the emphasis, at least for a while. Uh, I'm trying to get a lot of uh, sort of percussion out of that, uh, uh, an abrupt sound, a percussive sound, but like that, the abruptness. Anyway, from a G, G minor 7, I'm or major 7 rather, I'm just laying my index finger flat. And then I leave that there and I just drop two fingers and I've got the E minor. Because I already have that, just drop those. Right, so G, G major 7, drop the E minor. And then it's almost the same, the right shape. I'm just going to move these over, sort of diagonally, and slide down. And I've got my C. This is a second position C. Now you can do... Thinking about you all the time, right? Another day is going by. I'm thinking about you all the time. You could do that. I did a higher position. I wanted to hear... I wanted to hear that. Because I heard that in the original. So that's why I did second position C up here, like a B flat, but up two frets. And then the D here. I've got my D, I'm just barring that, and I got my pinky in. That's a D. This is also a D, but this is a D. And then you slide, just kind of slide your uh, your index finger around over so it's curling again and you form the, the G. And you get to do that, uh, what, two or three times. Another day is going by I'm thinking about you all the time But you're out there and I'm here waiting And I wrote this letter in my head So many things were left unsaid oh, Four times, you get to do it four times each first But now you're gone and I can't think straight And then I drop my ring finger on the third fret here That's uh. Once again, I, I thought I heard this in the song. I thought it sounded more like the original, so I did a second position, A minor, right? It's an A minor, but just with the pinky down. It sounds a little cooler. This could be the one last chance. And then the same two chords you were doing before. To make you understand, yeah. Make those as sharp as you can. I do anything. All right, that's, that's like the only a cappella part. It's right at the beginning. I do. You sing two syllables with no music, right? I do anything. And again, so you're going from a G to a D. You're gonna your ring finger is gonna stay on the same string. Just slide down one, and you form a D around it. Now you have to kind of jump to the E minor. Sorry, that's the probably the biggest jump we make in this song. So I do anything just to hold you in my. Yep, that's just a jump from the D to the E minor. Oh well, I have no tricks for you there. But then you can roll out for the C, slide that down, drop the rest for the G. Because somehow, slide this one down, drop the rest for the D. I can't put you, got to jump there, in the past. And it's uh, the same chords. The rest of it is, I believe, exactly the same chords. Um with no new chord transitions. So I think now I'm just gonna go uh, from the intro riff to the next intro riff, which means through the first chorus. Because at the end uh, of the chorus, 
So here we go. Slow motion, though. Slow motion, and I tell you what, I'll have my right hand, my strumming hand, in the picture, too, so you can follow along. Slow motion. Five, six, seven, and... Wednesday bite.